We have with us uh, Mr. Rishad Premji, Chief Strategy Officer and Board Member of Wipro. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to ET now. Sir, me. my first question to you is strategy-wise, how will things be different uh, uh, at Wipro now that it has a new leadership under Abid Ali? So I think the strategy is not fundamentally changing. The focus very much is around execution. Our focus very, remains very much on our core business, which has been around infrastructure and application and operations. And then we have a change business, which is very much focused around the digital opportunity and what we can build there, how we can work with the startup ecosystem, how we can build capabilities through M&A. So the strategy fundamentally has not changed. It's just much more focused around execution. But you will be more acquisitive, uh, acquisitive in the in the digital space. So we've, you know, we've done three acquisitions over the last six months in different areas. One has been in the in the digital space where we bought a design, strategic design company. We bought a company in in Germany for market access, and we bought something in the business process as a service space. So we will continue to be goal oriented and continue to look at ideas that make sense and help the company grow further going forward as well. Good. Will you will you uh, will you also look at stepping up investments from the hundred million dollar fund uh, going forward uh, uh, that you've earmarked for startups? Yeah. No, we're very excited about that fund, right? So the focus of the fund is how do we find a very systematic and structured way of engaging with the ecosystem, and we will continue to look at ideas that help us scale in terms of the capabilities that we build by partnering with those companies. So we would do that here in India, we're doing that in the US, and we're very excited because it's really enhancing our ability to take more innovative things to our customers. Thanks Just very one much. One last question, sure. overall macro and demand that you're seeing for IT services? No, I think it's still early in terms of budget closures, but I think overall it's, um, you know, uh, it's fairly sort of stable moving into 2016, and we'll know more and have more clarity over the next coming few weeks. And so. growth drivers that we can expect, which, what will be your growth drivers? No, so the growth drivers are what we've talked about. You know, we have certain verticals that we're driving very aggressively that are a big opportunity for us. Uh, we think the infrastructure space is still a great opportunity in that. We think much more as a service offerings will build, and that's a great opportunity for growth as well. And then new markets, markets like Germany, which we've just invested in from an M&A lens, we're very excited about. Great, Thank you thanks so much. very much. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.